we've got, um, you've had, you've, you just saw, you just heard some traditional Japanese music. Now you're going to see some traditional Japanese dance from the Nihon Buyo Kiyonomoto. Let me tell you a little bit about them. The Kiyonomoto Ryu USA Classical Dance Group was established in the United States in 1994. Celebrating over 21 years under the leadership of Kiyonomoto Katsunami, or head instructor Minako Ohara, and Kiyonomoto Katsuno, Kazuko Nishimura, the group has been performing at various venues to spread and promote their different style of traditional dancing. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to the Nihon Buyo Kiyonomoto. for you today. The first dance is called Takara Bune. Oh, 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 oh,
It's called Furyu Mizu Keshi.
Folks, the Kyonomoto Ryu Dance Group has one more dance performance for you today. However, they have to do a quick costume change. So while they're doing that, I just want to point out to you, take one moment to point out to you that um, the beautiful thing about Japanese traditional dance is that every movement has a purpose. You might not notice it, but actually what they're doing with the dance is that they're actually telling a story with each hand movement. So, as they perform their final dance, I'd love for you to take a look, watch their hands, and see if you can tell what kind of story they're telling with their hand movements and hand gestures. It's actually quite beautiful. It gives the dance much more meaning when you think about it that way. So folks, I hope you're enjoying the day, and enjoying this beautiful uh, presentation of Japanese traditional culture, and I hope that you will take from this uh, you know, that this is a special, special day that we're all gathered here today to really celebrate uh, not just traditional Japanese culture, but uh, taking that traditional culture into the future, which is what all these organizations are trying to do. So please, please support them and uh, give them as much support as you can. Hey, whoever's flying that thing, I want the video. I want the video. Okay, I think we're almost ready. For their final dance, the Kyunomoto Ryu Dance Group will be performing to a song called Hakata Yamagasa Onna Bushi.
such poise, such grace, such elegance. One more time for the Kinomoto Ryu dance group. And I think we've got a special gift for them. Or something, I don't know what this is. <laughs> is it for me? Oh no, it's for them. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Veneto. Such a wonderful performance. Where's mine? Wait. Next? No? Okay. okay. Oh, it's down there. Okay. okay. I'm cut off. I'm cut off. Apparently. Oh, great. Hey, uh, you guys enjoyed the festival so far? Let me hear it. Okay, good. Just making sure. Just want to, just want to check. Um, folks, as promised earlier before, you now get a little bit of a break. We're going to take a half hour break, and we're going to break from uh, now until 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock is when we'll start our program up again, so you have some free time to move about and, uh, you know, uh, move about the cabin and go to the bathroom and check out all of our vendors. Check out all of our vendors uh, throughout the festival and especially our food vendors, folks. Uh, this is something that is different from any festival you've been to ever before. All of our food vendors at this festival are all non-profit organizations. That's right. Every single food vendor you go see at the food court is a different Japanese American non-profit organization based here in Japantown. So by supporting, by buying food, you're not just uh, you're not just uh, feeding yourself, you're also supporting our local non-profits. So please visit them at the food court down on Webster Street. Also some quick announcements. I wanted to uh, give a shout out to uh, the designer of our logo, this year's Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival logo and mascot, the Go-Go uh, -Go the Frog, uh, was designed by none other than Grant Fuse of Sumo Fish. Sumo Fish is the uh, t-shirt and design company that is located, they have a booth right over there on Post Street, and they make uh, amazing shirts, amazing products, so we, uh, we really encourage you to go visit Grant and tell them how much you love Go-Go the Frog for designing it. Okay, a few other announcements. In addition to all of the wonderful things that you're seeing here at the festival, inside the East and West Malls, we've actually got some special one-time only exhibits that are taking place uh, uh, this weekend and next weekend. We have, um, oh, not just in the malls, but also in various different uh, spots around the festival. So for example, over at the Nihonmachi Little Friends, we're gonna, there's gonna be a tea ceremony. Over at the uh, JCCCNC, or the Japanese Community Cultural Center of, of uh, Northern California, uh, there's going to be washi ninyo, which is paper dolls, mataro dolls, shishu embroidery, and ikebana over there at the JCCCNC on Sutter between Buchanan and Webster. And over here in the West Mall, to your right, there's going to be some shodo calligraphy, a sword exhibit, and the SF Go Club. So if you ever wanted to learn how to play the Japanese game of Go, take a, walk, take a walk through the West Mall and find all of those exhibits. I won't tell you exactly where they, is, where they are, you gotta go find them. So go ahead and take a walk and go find some exhibits around the festival. So folks, again, we are gonna break until 4 p.m. So come back and visit us at 4, and we will get this show going once again for the rest of the day. But in the meantime, have fun and enjoy the festival. <laughs>